Hey everybody, Dr. Red here, and we are back with some more XCOM 2 content. So we are going to be starting the Guerrilla Ops. In this case, we are looking at Operation Knife Mother in Eastern Africa. We're doing this one because largely we wanted a, another engineer. I think that'll bump us up to three. It'll counter a hidden dark event, the one we didn't waste our intel on. Regardless, it's probably worse than what would be we'd be dealing with with uh, the reduced intel cost. So let's just get cracking. So who do we want to work with? We have a lot of inventory slots that will probably be going unused for a little bit, but let's see what we can pull off. Frag grenade here, a ranger, we can just toss some dragon rounds on, make that super obnoxious. And that's going to be about it. And after a while, I have realized I have, again, and again, and again, forgot to actually put one of the PCS uh, attachments in. I don't really want to be using it on our lower ranked people, but let's see. Uh, Tuples has more than earned it if we have something useful for him. Let's see what we can do. Uh, dodge, HP. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with just some conditioning. We replace later, and we can even do a weapon upgrade if we so chose. Expanded magazine's pretty good, and extra clip size from bump us up from 3 to 4. We'll be getting any superior ones of these later. Advanced goat, we'll definitely want to toss that on our highest ranked sharpshooter when we get the chance. Do we have access to him right now? I think it would be DuPont. Um, it's not ideal at the moment since he's the only one without an actual good uh, magnetic weapon, but still worth our time. It's an extra 10% chance to hit most shots, so it's not too bad. Let's see who else we have to work with. Let's go on, uh... <laughs> Let's go on Rain Man. Hadad's been putting in some good work for us. Just a lowly rookie climbing the ranks. Let's see, weapon upgrade here. We can toss him with a repeater. It's pretty bad, but it's something. Whatever products on something big will definitely be appreciative of it then. Let's see, uh, dodge chance, yada, 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 yada. Nothing too, too necessary. I'm not a huge fan of the will ones, but. Eh, we'll work around it as we continue. Do we have any items we can note? We're poor as hell, so let's just start going. And again, while we're on this transitionary loading uh, screen that's going to be coming up, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to keep up with this content. I know a lot of other people are putting up XCOM, but hopefully I'm keeping up the pace. Quality varies, as we are well aware, but work in progress, or am I right? In this case, let's see what we have to deal with. Recover item, resistance haven. Uh, so pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, there'll be a computer that we have to hack. Thankfully, we can do that remotely with our specialist Hadid. Um, we will be on a timer. Other than that, get it done in time, kill all the aliens, yada yada yada. Nothing we haven't seen before. Whew. Everyone does their little drop from our little Helima chapter. Looking good. Do we start concealed? Oh, that's very far away, too. Gonna have to boogie. Okay, we do start stealthed. Okay, so let's just start leading with our ranger here. Mary Lee. Not the best yet, but she'll get there. She's now Jane Kelly, so I'm trying to say politely. I'm just being very aggressive due to the concealment we we have to work with. Point where you might not even get covered because I really want you to get to the high ground sooner rather than later. We do have some civvies over here, so we can't quite just path right through them. That's a uh, that's a no go. Let's see what we can do about getting our sneaky rifle up here. Um. One thing I didn't think to check beforehand is there could very well be a turret emplacement up here. Thankfully there wasn't. But we did have a very, very brief vision of an advent pod, it looked like. So let's just keep advancing as swiftly as possible. Playing a little bit aggressive, but eh, we'll be fine. Probably. There we go, we see a viper, it looks like a officer or a lancer. There, there's an actual officer in uh, regular advent. They are getting slowly beefier, which is getting old pretty quickly, but we'll be fine, I imagine. 
Plus, with the high ground aim advantage, we should be able to take them out with uh, just the usual concealment shots pretty easily, depending on where they patrol around. Trying to figure out if we want to go for the close pod like the Viper unit in those, or we might go for the grenade on the far pod, assuming they stay clumped. Especially with an acid grenade, that should do wonders for us there. Open on that pod, and then figure it out at that point. Position Still have a couple shots, so it's not too, too bad. Let's see what we can do here. We do have access to our acid grenades, and they can get all the way down there for three to four. Yeah, there we go. They can hit there. They can hit there, etc., etc. Kind of have the mindset of just launching and then just taking actual shots with our other units. So I think I might do that because I don't really want to blow my load on the way back on these guys. There we go, pretty straightforward shot there. Not even a single roll for four. Oh, that's a shame. I think I might be overestimating the acid damage on the grenade, but... Regardless, they should still be a lot easier to deal with now. And we have some time to clean up. Alright, alright, so we have Jane Kelly up, or not Jane Kelly, Mary Lee up here. No fantastic shots, so we might just go for the 69% here. That's a miss, but can't say that's too far, uh, much of a surprise, really. Oh, just in case. Whenever we don't mop up, we'll just get flashbanged here, with the exception of, I believe, just an advent trooper down there. Okay, got it on most of them, so that's not too bad. We have a pretty good shot with a Haddad down here. One dead advent, I think he got a promotion. Maybe not. No, just some loot was dropped. Okay, okay. We're going to take our lightning hands here. Not a perfectly good shot, but still went off, so we should be able to finish it off with our actual sniper rifle. Assuming the shot connects, of course. Damn. Yeah, what can you do? I think we might have another person with a turn left. Nope, that's it. Damn, not quite. We're going to get a little pot shot taken at us, probably. Definitely not enough there. They're all burning from acid still, so we should be fine to focus on the Viper unit. Disorientated is sending them for a loop. Viper might go for a pull, which would be none too great, but... I think it is a little boosty, though. Or double poison, that's pretty shitty. Officer is going to mark us. Overwatch spam incoming. It's pretty bad. Took out our cover there. This orient should hopefully be good enough to maybe save us, maybe not, apparently. But, you know, can you do? Still poison. One damage really isn't too big of a deal. Yeah, that should be fine for the level. Ooh, that's really bad on the Viper unit there. What about you? 42, huh? I don't want to put up with that. Hold on. Take 
We'll get the kill, but we will break down the cover, make it easier for us to get in there. Oh, the floor fell. That just flat out killed her. Okay, okay. Didn't see that one coming. Ah, coin flip in our favor in this guy here. Don't know if that'll count as us taking out his cover, but I highly doubt it if it does. It's not a bad shot, though. Another miss. Okay. I mean, I guess we're just going to take pot shots and hope the acid deals with what's left. Okay, coin flip in their favor. Okay, it's not a coin flip when it's below 50, but... Apparently, that's what we needed to get the kill off, so... That'll have to do. With our girl down here, it looks like we can... It's not safe, but I'm just making a rash assumption the poison damage will just take him out now. The more loot we can get, the earlier the better. Laser sight and superior conditioning, plus three health is really good. I've got it. There we go, acid burn on him. Acid burn on him. Perfect. So let's see. Five turns, we're gonna start to have to book in it pretty quick. One damage isn't too bad. Should hopefully fall off in a few turns. <sighs> Especially when we're surprised a lot closer to it than I thought we were, in all honesty. Put him in that nice full cover over there. Advance people up a little bit. There we are. Easy peasy. Other than a little bit of poison and that one-off shot in our heavy, it's not going too bad for us. Uh, Muton and it looked like two sectoids? I mean, that's slightly intimidating, but I'm not too concerned. Ah, uh, the pawn's gonna panic. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of time, plenty of time. That was uh, very productive of you, DuPont. Serial, a powerful chain for every... Okay, that could be very, very strong. In the right scenario, of course, but... There we go. And uh, a little bit risky, but we can just hack the chest now from here with our gremlin. Ooh, this one's really good for us if we can get it again. The word you get in sake of, a coin flip, but a permanent increase to our hacking would be good if the odds are in our favor, which it looks like they are. That's, that's good. Assuming we can keep him alive, of course, but... Make all uh, subsequent future hacks that much easier, so that's really good. Oh shit, reinforcements. Yeah, that, that, that's a lot less good. Shouldn't get us poisoned, and... There we go. So hopefully with this uh, reinforcements, which are coming at a very bad time for us, we can hopefully just tear them down this turn with the overwatches that we've had set up. Well, they're a bit farther away than I thought they were. Should have double checked. First shot from our heavy. Miss. Miss. And another miss. 
All right, so that's uh not quite what I was aiming for there, but can you do? He might go for a grenade. Yep. It's pretty shitty. We're out of cover now, and the two sectoids are still going to have a turn. So hopefully they don't go for a mind control on our ranger here. Just raise the dead. All right. Reanimated, and let's hope the other one follows suit and does nothing productive. Or if they do, uh, specialist over ranger right now. Shitty, but uh, we'll manage. Still poison, huh, to punt? Okay, so uh, Mary Lee, we're gonna have you. Your cereal. We're going to hope very much you get a crit here. Oh, we needed that crit very badly. Fuck. Okay, okay, this is uh, going less than stellar at the moment. Hmm. See, we want to get in cover to deal with the Lancers. Won't be good cover, but... Probably line up a frag grenade there. Up, oh, friendly fire, huh? Hmm. It's a little bit problematic then. Don't want to hurt Rain Man. Don't want to do focus on Psy Zombie. Rain check on that turn. All right, Tuples. What are we gonna have you doing then? Suppose we could move you right in here. Acid grenade's not an option. Let's hope we can do good on this coin flip. The crit would have been nicer earlier on the ranger, but... Can you do? Shit. Okay, I say... Don't know why that's saying friendly fire is going to occur. Oh, I think it might be in the data cache. That makes a lot more sense. If that is the case, then we're going to give it a shot regardless. I just hope... It looks like that was the case, but we already dealt with that, so... <sighs> Let's see what happens now. Please don't kill our heavy. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Unless he panics and runs away and like kills the sectoid. That'd be good. I was hoping for the Psy Zombie, but he missed. That's good. Let's 
happening here? It's like another resurrection. Our ranger's still kicking it pretty well, though, so I think we might be able to pull out of this, assuming DuPont snaps out of his stupor. I feel that's unnecessary, but... Oh, that's very lucky. Okay. I believe... No. Just disoriented. It could be worse. Could be worse, could be worse. Psy Zombie is stumbling towards our ranger, it looks like. Not very productive, was it? Come on, the pond. All right, all right. So we are going to walk right over here. Not going to miss the sectoid. Again, that crit would have been nice earlier, avoiding a bunch of bullshit. Should free our specialist of the mind control going on with him. Jesus is no longer panicked. Let's not shoot Rain Man. Oh, was the wrong sectoid. That's a shame. Let's see here. Kind of brain addled a little bit. But we will hopefully be able to take out this Lancer. That's good, that's good. He's not dead yet. We have a shot at the zombie there. Shot at Rain Man there. I guess we go for the sectoid. Yeah, what the hell. You might lose one or two soldiers on this mission, which is pretty shitty. But, make your own bed, you gotta sleep in it or something, however that phrase goes. What is he? Oh, that's a... Oh, that's really sad. Make do without. Always another grenadier, I think. That's how that saying goes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's look at the upside though. We're probably going to still get our engineer, succeed here. Just got to kill two more units. The sectoid. Uh oh. Please don't be able to get there in the next move. All right, all right, all right, okay. Oh, mind control loss. What great timing. Oh, man. That was perfect. Just what I needed. Mm. Let's see. Just see if you can kill that officer for me, will you? No? All right. All right, all right, all right. Damn, you're dry. Eh, it's still a fairly good shot of actually killing the sectoid with the sword since we do have the blade master here. Good enough. Good enough. Enemy eliminated. That is uh, not a shot I am very comfortable in taking. I might just run away 
and hopefully he doesn't get crit with my dumbass not moving him. With that being said, just in case... <sighs> you know, this all would have been avoided if we got the crit earlier with our ranger with the uh, cereal, but, you know... I'm not salty about the whole thing, don't worry about me. Glad I healed. I think he would still be sitting at about 1 HP, but you know what? That's beside the point. Fucking officer, though. forward, get another pistol shot in. Making me wish I upgraded to the mag pistol earlier, but... On my way. Let's see, Ramirez, are you going to have a decent chance? If not, I'll heal you. Oh boy, that, that was a rough one. Okay, okay. I'm hoping that's that's the end. Okay, so uh, downside, we lost Tuples. I'd have to say he was arguably our second most useful unit. <sighs> A lot less smiley faces on this mission. Rest in peace, Tuples. You died a hero. And not because of my incompetence as a commander. But hey, for everyone else, there might be some promotions in the, in the woodwork, right? Looks like we got a new decent heavy, a new injured beat to hell heavy, but hopefully he'll be able to get the job done for us. Right, buddy. Whatever your name is. Damn shame. Okay, maybe no one's going to get promoted, and maybe it's just going to be bad all over the place, but look at all this stuff we got, right? Oh, yes, a shaken. Ooh. Could have gone worse, right? Okay, so let's just quickly get this engineer staffed and doing something productive, and we'll see what we can do there. Don't think I care enough. Kind of getting broke. Maybe get some good grenades going. There you are, Dimitri. What are we biding time for at the moment? Alien alloys we will need. Do we have anything else? Uh, we'll finish making contact. Only takes a day to rather not miss another supply drop due to a lack thereof. So. There we are. So just a little mini cutscene of us landing, meeting the resistance, etc., etc. And uh, after this, I'll probably cut the recording. I know it's not too long of a video, but it's pretty late at night, and I want this uploaded and finished processing, hopefully before noon. So, with that being said, probably call it here then. And again, um, uh, my name's Dr. Red. Thanks again for watching. Any feedback, please let me know in the comments below. And see you next time.